Hey guys, it's Jasmine of thejazztalk.com and I want to welcome you guys back to my channel. If you watched my most recent video, um, you'll see that I touched on how to combat oily skin and I mentioned two products that I really, really loved uh, this past month and I decided, you know what, why not uh, do a May Favorites video. The first two, as I talked about in my last video, are the mineral powders that I've been using and I really like these as I mentioned in my last video um, I have oily skin so what I've noticed is that with powder um, as opposed to using BB cream which is usually what I use on my skin um, these absorb I use two of them these are in caramel and honey brown so I picked these up from my local beauty supply store local drugstore I'm pretty sure you can find these Anyway, I'm not really sure um, uh, where else they have these. They might have these at CVS too. Maybe, maybe not. But check your drugstores if you're looking for these or your beauty supply stores. It's by Ruby Kisses and I'll leave the link for that. These are the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. And as you can see, I've used them quite a bit. I'm running out. Um, this one is in the color Cafe, number 30. And then the other one is in medium, number 25. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. The reason that I like these is because I feel like they're a, a definite alternative from using um, LA Pro Concealer. I use that too, but these are lighter and I wanted to try something different as opposed to using the same thing. So um, I do notice that these... If I use a damp beauty blender, I feel like there's not enough product there, so I have to apply more. Whereas where I'm using LA LA Pro Concealer um, concealers, those I feel like you you put on product, you feel like you have enough to spread. So I think it's just that the consistency of these um, is a little bit lighter, and that's probably why when I'm you know I'm using my beauty blender just to um, blend in the concealer. It seems like there's not that much product there. This is golden. When I mean it's golden, I bought three of these because I could not find them anywhere except for when I go home to New York and there's a beauty supply store that has these where I go and I literally stock up. What it does is it will correct any uh, discoloration or dark spots that you have on your skin. If you watch my uh, previous video, the How to Combat Oily Skin, You'll see me use this and um, it's just like under my under eyes and then around my uh, mouth area because I have discoloration around the area of my lips. This is the color orange. It's an orange corrector. And once again, this is LA Girl Pro Concealer. It has to be one of my favorites. Um, really, really glad that I tried this. I guess you can compare this to um, Peach Luster from MAC, but if you want something cheaper, I would definitely suggest going with this. I'm really happy with it and I will continue to be buying more of these which is why I stocked up so that I didn't have to for a while. And you don't even need a lot. That's the other thing. You don't even need to apply a lot of this stuff. You can literally just like dab a little bit on and then just blend it in and you will immediately see the difference. Like I, when I use this I immediately see a difference and it's like it adds, it adds a glow which I love. I just love it. I love it. <gasps> It's so good. Next up is Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. So I know a lot of people have talked about this on YouTube. Um, I'm actually late to trying it. <laughs> I know, sad to say it, right? I am late to this. But um, I actually never tried Ben Nye. And I always wanted to. I just never got a chance to order it. So I was like, you know what? Let me try this. A lot of people were saying that this is actually... A lot of the, re the reviews that I see online were saying that this was actually a step up from the Ben Nye and that this is better because it works for um, majority of skin tones which is what I wanted you know which is what I wanted so uh, I, I have tried this and this is the only thing that I use now like I was before using regular translucent powders um, and that did not have this uh, tint, tint color and I, I like this because it adds a shimmer and it also, to me, when I do a highlight, it makes the highlight pop even more. When I ordered this, they had some type of deal going on. And I got a free lipstick. I believe it was the Matte Me Hip is the color it was. This is what the color looks like. And um, what I like about it is that it 
it settles down. So the name of this is Matt Me Hip. And I'll try to um, post a picture on my Instagram of me wearing it. And so you guys can see it. And I'll just put the name of it um, in the caption. So that has been like, this is definitely probably one of my favorite setting powders. And I really also am a fan of the company, obviously, because they sent me something free. So, hey. Guess I just called them on a good day, right? The, these are the only four products I've ordered from them, but I definitely do intend on ordering more stuff. I've actually told so many other people about it that they've ordered more stuff from them than I have, which is crazy. Um, but they're really affordable and their products are very pigmented and they last for a long period of time. And it seems like everyone seems to, every time I'm wearing any of these colors, anyone, people seem to compliment me on them. They always ask about where they're from. Um, and when I tell them like the price of them, which is their prices for their items are about maybe five to six dollars. They range between that, that price, unless you're buying like the, um, the packs or the kits, excuse me, of the different lipsticks, um, then, you know, you're going for a higher price. But people really seem to love this. So I'm going to give you guys a show of what the colors look like. Right now I have on Chi, and in the middle of my lips I have on um, Viva Glam Gaga 2, which was from MAC a while, like a long, long time ago. Um, I don't even know if it's still available, but... That's what I'm wearing on my lips. But I'm going to show you guys what these colors look like by themselves. I think they're even, even the liners to me are great to wear alone. I've done that plenty of times. Like just with the Chi, I'll wear the Chi by itself. And even the, uh, this is K I believe. Yep, and even K by itself. So that's the colors of these. Chi and K. Chi and K. And I'm going to show you guys what they look like. It dries, it's going to dry more than this, but the color is a much deeper brown, which I like. If you're looking for a nice brown color, definitely check these out. I just want to thank you guys for watching my May favorites. This is my first one that I've ever done. Let me know if you guys like this and if you want to see more. As I mentioned in my previous video, I would like to be more consistent with my YouTube channel and, um, that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think. You guys can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat under the same hash under the same handle, which is at the Jazz Talk. Have a blessed day, guys.